In this lecture, we are going to start a new module in HyperMesh that is about creating the contact between bodies. For example, when we work on any assembly, we have multiple component and in between multiple component, we need to apply contacts to create a relative motion between two bodies. For example, let's say I have these two plates. You can see here we have plate 1 and plate 2. So the plate 2 is put on the plate 1. So you can see these two plates are touching each other. So whenever two bodies are in contact or touching each other, we need to apply the contact between them. For example, you can see here, if we go to the wireframe view, you can see these are the contacts between the bodies. For each body, we create a contact surface pair and then between these two contact surface pair, we apply the contact. So in HyperMesh, there are multiple options and settings in contact to create the contact, how to apply different settings. Okay. So basically we can create contact by two ways. One way is by auto contact option. With automatic option, we select two bodies and the software automatically apply the contact between them. Another way is doing it manually. We can also apply the contact manually between the bodies. So now let's learn about both options, how to create the contact and further we will learn about different setting options in contact. So let's go to HyperMesh. So let's say I will open up a file in the contact folder. I will open up this file that is plate contact. So in this file, you can see we have two plates that are in contact. You can see here the plate one is the green one plate and plate two is the blue color. Okay, so we need to create contact between them. So first thing is we can only create the contact for the mesh, not the surface. Right now you can see these bodies only have the surface. We don't have any mesh here. So in hyper mesh, we cannot create the contact only using the surface. So first of all, we need to create a mesh. I will isolate the plate one, isolate only. Make sure this is my current one. So right click, make current. So here I'm going to do the tetra mesh because it is faster. So go to 3D tetra mesh. I'm going to take volume tetra in each element size. Let's say I'm taking five so like this and mesh. Then I will isolate the plate to right click isolate only and make it current so that all the mesh will go into this plate to so like this body and mesh return. And here right click show. Now we don't need the surface so hide the surface for both plates. So now you can see we have created the 3D mesh between the bodies. So if you see this from the ZX view you can see here the two bodies are touching each other. Okay so we need to apply the contact between them. So to apply the contact between them one option is we can use this option here, go to analysis, here you will see interface and you will see contact surface. So first we will create the contact surface for each body and when we have two contact surfaces, we apply a contact property to those two contact surfaces. So this is a manual method. In HyperMesh, there is also a automatic option that is auto contact. To turn on that, we need to go to this view option. So depending on the different HyperMesh version, you can see this option contact browser. So initially there will be uncheck on this. So you have to make a check on this. In some versions, you can find this setting here like toolbar or any tab area. You can find this. So along with this model, you can see contact browser. Here go to this contact and you will see two components are highlighting. And you can see there is nothing else highlighting. So here, if I make a right click here, you will see create contact surface, contact property, and you will see auto contact. Similarly, when I make a right click on the second window, right click here, you will see some similar option like we can create auto contact, then create contact or tie. So let's say I want to create auto contact between the bodies. So I will make a right click here, go to auto contact. So here first thing is pick up the application region means we need to select the components between which we want to create the contact. 
second option is tolerance value so tolerance value is basically the initial gap so up to which gap the software is going to consider the contact let's say sometimes it may possible the gap there is some gap between two bodies so here we need to define a value okay so angle is basically for selection then we have type of contact so in hypermesh we have certain type of contact like touch and gap and tie so we are going to cover all these options in upcoming lectures so initially we are going to give tie contact so so tie means two bodies are fixed or glued with respect to each other or you can say we have created a tight bolt connection between them here we need to select entity so basically most of the time here we select the complete surface because we want surface to surface algorithm now to create the contact click on this component option you will see this component once again click on it here we need to select both components plate 1 and plate 2 you can see both are checked now click okay so now you here you will see two components are selected okay so initial gap because it is touching we can give it initial value 2 we can give it initial value 1 it is fine click on create now it will show auto contact succeed okay so it has created one contact entity that is group and two contact surfaces so click ok and click on close so let's see what software has created so you can see these options here also you can also find these options in the model browser you will see a contact surface window and group tab okay let's open this contact surface so it is going to show contact surface c surface for the plate 1 and if you go to the card image for this you will see card image is surface and elements are 295 elements if you want to see the element id you can click on this table all the element id will be shown here click on cancel now i want to see the element so hide plate 2 you will see the contact between the bodies okay let me change the color select both click auto color okay there's some blue i don't want the blue here let me change it to let's say make it yellow so that we have two different colors okay this is let's say this is pink okay so the pink one is for plate 2 so i will hide this you can see for the plate 1 the software has created the contact surface similarly i will hide this contact surface so for plate 1 turn on for plate 2 so i will hide plate 1 and on plate 2 here you will see it has created the contact surface for the plate 2 so whenever we create contact first we need to create contact surfaces then after creating the contact surface we need to apply some constraint or some property to this so for this we need to define a group for this expand this arrow now you will see c surface 2 and c surface plate 1 means plate 1 and plate 2 with this it has defined interaction between these two contact surfaces so i will pick up this arrow try to drag it up here you will see the card image means contact type it has applied that is tie contact it means these are glued or fixed whenever we have two bodies in contact we need to define one body as a slave body that is ssid another body is master id okay so how to choose between master and slave we will cover that later so here you can see c surface plate 1 is our slave and c surface plate 2 is our master okay and then we have some more options like search distance adjust value discrete so we are going to cover all these options later the meaning of all these values okay so in this way we can define the auto contact between two bodies so let's say i will turn on the mesh here i will turn on everything after that let's see if i want to review this so make a right click click on review or you can press the q from the keyboard review you will see the contact between the bodies it is going to show the corresponding elements it means between these elements the contact has been created so press escape from here similarly we can also review the contact surface right click review so this is contact for the plate 1 then i will click on plate 2 
it will show the contact for plate 2. I press escape. So this is the way of creating the auto contact. In the next lecture we are going to learn how to create these contacts manually.